the city has released a lot of safety guidelines, and we spoke to an infectious disease specialist as well. Halloween during a pandemic, which means Liam and Luke Franey of Dorchester are adapting for COVID safety. I'm going to trick or treat and I'm going to be wearing a mask on it. I'm just going to let them put it in my bucket instead of me touching it. But most Boston families we spoke to admit they're nervous about trick or treat. I don't know if everyone will come to the door with a face mask on, if everybody follow procedures. Maybe we should just wait a year. I should probably skip this year just to be safe. The experts say it can be done safely. I think people really need to be in small groups and they should be your whether it's your own family group or just a couple of friends that you are usually in contact with. Dr. Daniel Karitskis of Brigham and Women's Hospital says keep it small and keep it outdoors. Other tips for trick or treaters avoid direct contact with individuals passing out candy. Wear a mask even under your costume. Stay at least six feet away from people not in your immediate group. Bring hand sanitizer with you and use it regularly and stick to wrapped candy and wait to eat it. I think people should you know be patient go around trick or treating. Then when you get home, make sure you've washed your hands again and then you can uh, dig into the candy. If you're giving out candy, also wear a mask, wash your hands before handling treats, avoid direct contact with trick or treaters, even set up a treat table outdoors, spacing that candy so there's no communal touching. And health experts also stress this is not the year for haunted houses or house parties. In Dorchester, I'm Mary Salada, WCVB.